Hi, this is Courtney Pache, your friendly neighborhood collections technician for human history at the Manitoba Museum. This summer I'm going to be taking you on an in-depth look at the Criddle family collection here at the Manitoba Museum. To fully understand the Criddle family, we need to look to the patriarch Percy and understand his background. Although he came here to Manitoba and he did set up a would-be farm, Percy was actually from an aristocratic family. He was born in St. Albans, United Kingdom. He received a great education and his parents, Marianne Alabaster, who was an artist, and Henry Criddle took very good care of their son and they cherished him. When he was a young man, he was given the opportunity to travel to Heidelberg, Germany to study music formally. And that's what he pursued as a career for much of his life. While Percy was studying music in Heidelberg, Germany, he met a woman named Elise Herrer. She was four years older than him and they very quickly fell in love. Although the couple never married, Elise did follow Percy to London and the couple ended up having six children, five of whom survived infancy. At some point, shortly after the conception of their final child, uh, Percy got married to another woman, a British citizen named Alice Nicholl. Alice also very interested in the arts, particularly music, and she and Percy went on to have eight children together. In 1882, Percy made the decision to move the family from the United Kingdom to Canada. Through the Dominion Lands Act, all three adults in the home, Percy, Elise, and Alice, purchased up large quantities of land, and the family's property grew and grew. They ranched cattle, but they also had a lot of other very interesting and unusual features to their property, including a golf course and a tennis court. The Criddles established a home and in a very British tradition also gave it a name. They called it St. Albans after Percy's hometown in the United Kingdom. Alice sewed the family a house flag, which we can see here. And in our collection, we have uh, two examples of this flag. The family originally lived in a much smaller dwelling. Both Alice and Elise and all of the children lived together in this home. Elise passed away in 1903, and several years later, in 1906, a new house was built, which they referred to as the Big House. Here we can see plans for the big house. The big house was constructed from 1906 to 1907, and it stayed there on the family property, which was eventually turned into a provincial park until 2014 when the house was lost to arson. So while the Criddles are not your typical immigrant farming family from the late 19th century, they did give us a lot of cool material culture from the time period. The Criddles saved everything, and the Manitoba Museum was the lucky recipient of a huge array of objects from this family. This material culture helps us to understand domesticity in a new way here in Manitoba. So even though the Criddles are not necessarily your typical family with a traditional family structure, um, we do get to see how people were living in their homes in the late 19th and early 20th centuries.